Oh my. In the plunder game type of Call of Duty Warzone, there are these supply drops where they drop weapons and money that helps a player win the game. There are also these drop points where a player can deposit money to protect them from their graspy gripers griping for their greens. The supply drops and the drop points draw in players to try to get the cash away from the other player and get them greens for themselves. This makes players camp these locations and wait for those players to come in. Now this is my love letter to camping, and a new type of camping I want to call fishing, where you bait the hook so that the player will want to come in and get there, but really, you're ready and awaiting. And unlike a lot of these lovely camping experiences, there will be time for us to sit back, talk about life, and things that make us feel happy. So there's this TED talk called Happiness Advantage, where people are talking about how being happy makes you more productive. Apparently doctors would be 20% more accurate at making decisions on patients when they were feeling happy than when they were feeling neutral or sad. Oh, and beyond that, this feeling of good is a skill, something that you can learn how to do. And this TED Talk breaks down the skill of happiness. And it's fascinating because it's this idea that 50% of all the happiness that we feel is actually nothing we can control. It is entirely genetics. And then another 10% is how we're doing right now in our lives. Are you in a house? Are you having a job? These other pieces. And finally, it is the 40% that we actually have control over, and that's the skill that they encourage us to learn. It's kind of fascinating because they demonstrate this by looking at happiness surveys over the course of developing and non-developed countries, and they find that the people in the first world countries are not actually happier than the people in the developing countries. Thus, what is it about the environment that actually improves your happiness? Apparently not as much. So another example of this was Harvard students, where in the first two weeks of being at Harvard, they were having the greatest time of their lives. And then after that two weeks, something changed. They started feeling sad and scared of school. And they lost the joy of being at this amazing new school. So this is kind of sad. But it's also kind of awesome that it turns out that that 40% of happiness is controllable and they gave us the how-to and we're going to talk about that while we shoot some people. Numero uno was to meditate for two minutes every day. And this is just a nice <sighs> focusing on the breath and taking a moment to pause. And this was able to show a person that they're able to separate from the notifications and bleeps and bloops of our work lives and experiences and social lives to have a moment to focus on yourself. In the same way, we're gonna focus on this person and... So numero dos is the idea of doing three to four walks a week that are aerobic. So this isn't like anything super crazy hard, but these 20 to 30 minute walks a couple times a week, we're releasing endorphins, which are already natural mood lifters. But it was also the fact that you begin to see a connection between your choices and how your body feels. And so it teaches you that you have control of your current mood in that moment. Numero tres, being grateful for three new things every day. And this is a fascinating one because it's like, oh, I'm grateful for my elbow. This is a nice elbow. I'm grateful for my hair. I'm grateful for my socks. And the idea here is by looking for three new specific things every day, it forces you into the habit of looking for things that you're thankful for. So as you go throughout your day, you start picking out little things. I love those leaves. That tree is lovely. And on top of that, there is another idea related to it where you can write these down on pieces of paper and then put them in a jar. And that jar fills up. And so over the course of like a month or two months, you end up having this jar of things that you feel thankful for. 
Numero quattro. Journal down an event that happened in the last 24 hours that you want to remember, that you really liked. Enemy soldier incoming. For example, I was flying my helicopter today, and it turns out that there are people parachuting down from the sky that I can just fly the helicopter into and take them out. This is fantastic. I absolutely loved the sound that they made when I ran into them. The shots of people trying to knock me out of the sky and the total joy and laughter, the belly laugh that was coming out of me during this experience. Now this is wonderful because it helps you put that memory into your brain in an experience that goes from all the senses. It's not just the fact that you remember it. You remember the sounds, the feelings of the controller vibrating, the smells of the room. These things together is what makes this memory stay in and makes you happy. Numero cinco, share the love with everyone. The idea here is to reach out to someone within your social group and either give praise or give thanks. Thank you, player, for trying to take this point again from me for fishing because whew, it's been fun to fight you off with these pistols. The idea here is that by reaching out to someone in your social group, you build a stronger connection to them. By saying thank you, they feel good that you reached out and thanked them. By praising them, it makes them feel good because now they're feeling fantastic for this compliment. And this experience makes you feel good, allowing you to share in their happiness. It, on top of it, allows you to have that back and forth with them, to have them look back to you because, man, they appreciate you, and that makes you feel pretty good, too. Ah, camping. Such a lovely, enjoyable thing. Sometimes you have to fight for the best spots, but, you know, it's okay. It still feels good. Protecting a camp spot from bears.